fly we're going to tie now is an egg sucking bling brush. Check out that hot pink backing on the rabbit strip. Uh, it's a nice brush. This is a um, Pro Sport Fisher flexi bead. The hook is a uh, Arex N uh, N15, uh, right N15. But I'm I'm going to be flexible. I'm going to use a Arex Predator Stinger in a size one. The other fly is tied on a size two, which just goes to show that not all of these flies are tied on the same wire or proportion. You've kind of got to look at each hook and each manufacturer and figure out your sizes. Now you might wonder why the heck did he make so many? Why did he go spiral up and down? Well, it's because instead of having the appropriate thread diameter, I'm, I've got a six aught thread here and I really should be using probably a 100D or even a 210 or a 3 aught. So I just wanted to make sure I had a real secure base because I don't want any slippage on this. Now I've got, this fly is awesome. This is a, a sculpting flash brush in a one inch. And it's a uh, Ooh, come back. This is now you. Um, I have been accustomed to tying this fly with a crosscut rabbit, and that is fine. So you might wonder well, why in heck should I ever do something different? Well, it turns out when you when you work with crosscut rabbit, um, every not every. Many of the packets that you get have fur that is a little bit different. Some of the fur is longer, some of the fur is shorter, some of the hide is thicker and thinner, and some of it is, you know, it's just, it's a natural product and has a lot of variability in it. With this brush, not so. Um, it's very, uh, very consistent, which is nice. Uh, this is quite full. Uh, this is not a sparse brush. But it didn't seem, it didn't seem like it was uh, matting too bad. No, no, I no. you like that little brush, but yeah, no, it this seemed nice to work with. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, you know, uh, being, um, being a person, that, a crafts person that like to work, likes to work with my hands, I suppose there are times when I am brushing material that that I don't have to. And I see that works pretty quick. Now if you want to, you can do the little trick of putting some super glue on your thread. Just wipe it on there. And then round, round, round you go. You could uh, lead the body if you wanted the fly to be even heavier. You could lead the body. Uh, you could tie this fly uh, with different with different kinds of beads on the the head, or with uh, dumbbell eyes. You have lots of options. So, anywhere here's a uh, bead head bling rabbit bling brush rabbit strip fly.